looking for someone to play with. Have you seen any of my friends? <laughs> you have? Where? Boo! Ah! <laughs> oh, Billy! <laughs> Sorry, Jess. I'm having a playing funny jokes day. I'm going to play one on bar next. Bye! <laughs> I'm going to see if Horace will play with me. Come on. Hello? Horace! Hmm. Where is he? Hmm. Maybe he's asleep inside this big hollow log. Hello? Hello? Horace? Horace? Hmm. It's too dark in there. I can't see who it is. Who's there? They're not answering. They must have gone. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah! <laughs> you made me jump, Horace. Was that you in there? In where, Jess? In the log, copying everything I was saying. I am afraid not. I've been having a little swim about. So who did I hear in the big hollow log? Hey, that's the big question. <laughs> Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of where? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? Who did I hear in the big hollow log? Well, did their voice sound high or low? <laughs> hmm, it was quite low. Actually, no, it was high, quite high. Hey, we met someone with a high voice today. Who was it? Billy, Willow or Bar? Billy, that's right. I bet Billy was playing another funny joke on me. <laughs> I'll be back soon, Horace. I need to go and see if Billy's the voice in the log. Good luck, Jess. See you soon. Whoop -de -whoop. How could we find out if Billy's voice sounds like the one we heard in the log? Hmm. I know. We could <laughs> test it out if I ask Billy to shout, Hello! Come on. <laughs> One. Hey Jess, do you want to play bouncing acorns? It's easy. You just throw an acorn at the fence and catch it when it bounces back. <laughs> uh -huh. <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop! <laughs> Billy, can you shout hello for me? Like this. Hello! <laughs> okay. Hello! the voice we heard in the log? I don't think it sounds the same. What are you talking about, Jess? I heard a voice inside a big hollow log at Horace's pond. It wasn't Horace, so I thought it was you playing a funny joke on me. Not me. I was here playing a funny joke on Bar. <laughs> <laughs> If it wasn't Billy in the log, then who was it? It wasn't me, Jess. Me either. Maybe it was Bar. Not me. I wouldn't fit inside a log. Bar! That's it. That's how I can work out who it was. Which of my friends could fit inside the big hollow log? Mimi? Willow? Or Bar? Mimi! Yes! I'm going to see Mimi. Bye, everyone. We'll come too. Maybe she'll play bouncing acorns with us. We'll collect the acorns and meet you there. Great. Come with me. Are you ready to listen to Mimi's voice? Here goes. Hello. Hello. Well... Does Mimi sound like the voice in the log, Jess? Hmm, I don't think so. 
to you. <laughs> what voice in a log? I heard a voice inside a big hollow log at Horace's pond. I thought it might have been you, Mimi, because you could fit inside. No, I've been here watering flowers all morning. It isn't any of my friends, <laughs> so it must be someone new. Hello, Mimi. Do you want to play bouncing acorns? I'd love to. I just need to fill up my watering can at the rain barrel. Let's play bouncing acorns there. The rain barrel's near the pond, Jess. Maybe your new friend went back there. Good idea. Let's go. <laughs> yes, come on. Just stopped. Oh, maybe it's empty. I'll check. <laughs> yes, it's empty. 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 <gasps> Amazing! Wow. Whoa! There's someone inside the rain barrel. Mimi, try shouting hello. Hello? Maybe they didn't hear you. They're not outside the rain barrel, they're inside. Mimi, try calling again, but this time shout into it. Hello? 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 <gasps> Does it sound like the voice in the hollow log, Jess? No, it sounds like Mimi! <laughs> Me? 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 Mimi, Me? how do you make your voice come out of the rain barrel? I don't know. Look out! Bouncing acorns! <gasps> Maybe your voice bounced off the rain barrel and came back to you. Bounced? Yes, just like the bouncing acorns. <gasps> so maybe it was a bouncing voice in the big hollow log, Jess. Maybe. Let's find out. Come on. Hello? Hey, your friend's back, Jess. Whoop de whoop! <laughs> it's not a friend. It's me. It's my voice. <laughs> Hello, Jess. I heard your echo, so I came to find you. My echo? Yes. That's what it's called when a sound bounces off something and comes back to you. Listen. Echo. So that's the sound in the big hollow log. It's my voice echoing off the inside of the log and coming back to me. We've found the answer! Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! in the big hollow log is me. It's my echo. 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 <laughs> See if you can make echoes like we do. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. Let me have a try. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. Hello. I'm off to see my friend Chloe. Would you like to meet her? Come on! Oh, what a great day! Hello, Jess. Oh, Willow. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you today. You're going to meet my new friend, Chloe. Great. What kind of friend is she? I'll go and find her, Willow, while you guess what Chloe is. Bet you can't guess before I get back. Shall I tell you who Chloe is? She's small and she's black with a yellow line down the side. And she has little hairy spikes all over her. She's a caterpillar. And guess what she likes to eat? Lots and lots of leaves. Especially the ones at Horace's pond. Will you come with me to find her? Come on. <laughs> hey, Jess, what are you up to? Hello, Horace. 
I've come to see Chloe. <laughs> She'd like that. Chloe, where are you? Hey, maybe my drumming was too... thumpy for her. <laughs> I don't think so, Horace. She's heard it before. You're right there, Jess. She's been living there and munching on those leaves for ages. Hmm. It's not like her to miss lunch. I wonder what's happened to Chloe the caterpillar. Hey! That's the big question. <gasps> Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess. Come on, let's play. What's the question here today? What's happened to Chloe the caterpillar? You know, Jess, maybe she's gone looking for even juicier leaves. Hmm, maybe. So where are the leaves really big and juicy? Can you guess? On the potting shed, on the stable, or on the twisty tree? On the twisty tree! That's right! Yay! Come on, let's find her before Willow guesses who she is. <laughs> What? Chloe the caterpillar. I think she's moved to the twisty tree. Of <laughs> course we'll help. Yeah. Chloe, Chloe, furry worry caterpillar. Where are you? Shh. Chloe, Chloe. Stop. I don't want Willow to... Hi, Jess. Is it time to meet Chloe? Uh, no, Willow. I think that maybe she's probably still... Um... S sleeping! Yeah, that's Sleep. right. Sleeping. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That gives me more time to guess who she is. Give me a clue. Is she big or small? Small. Yeah, small. That's right. Um, a bird. Nope, that's not it. You'll see her soon, Willow. We'll come and get you just as soon as she's woken up. Yes, woken, woken up. up. OK, I'll be in my stable. We've got to find Chloe before Willow guesses who she is. What was all that noise about? The caterpillar we might be right there. Find Chloe. She we might couldn't have reached Chloe, so, couldn't so we were jumping. No, didn't get a single word of that. Billy, you're little. Can you get in and out of the twisty tree leaves? Of course. Can you look for a caterpillar called Chloe? You bet I can. Here I go. Chloe, where are you? Chloe! <gasps> wow! I found something. What? What is it? It's a red bug with black spots. Red with mm. black spots? What could that be? Who do you think Billy's found in the twisty tree? A ladybird, a worm, or an ant? A ladybird! Well done! That's a ladybird, Billy! You're looking for a caterpillar, remember? Sorry, Jess. She's not up here. My turn to chase you, Joey. Yeah! Bye, everyone! <laughs> What do you think's happened to Chloe? Perhaps she's got tired of eating leaves. I once saw a caterpillar eating an apple. It made the hole right through it. Apples! Good thinking, Bar. Where would we find apples on Greendale Farm? Buttercup Meadow, the farmyard, or the orchard? The orchard! Yes! yes. Great! Come on, let's go! No, that's the last one. No Chloe in any of them. <sighs> oh, dear. Jess! Jess! Horace, what's the matter? I found this on the blackcurrant bush. That looks like Chloe's coat. Her coat? Yes, Bar. Her outside bit. Whoa! But if that's Chloe's outside bit, where's her inside bit? 
Maybe Chloe got so big that her outside bit didn't fit, so she took it off. I get bigger when I eat, but my wool doesn't just fall off. <laughs> but you're not a caterpillar, Bar. Caterpillars shed their skins. You mean Chloe might look a little bit different now? Exactly, Jess. So I think we should look again for Chloe by the pond. But this time, we'll need Billy's help. Of course. Detective Billy is at the ready. Wow! Amazing! Huh? Look, Jess. What do you think this is? I don't know. It's kind of Chloe-shaped. Maybe it's her house. Look! It's moving! Wow! Oh, beautiful! It's not Chloe. It's a butterfly. So this is Chloe. I'd never have guessed she was a butterfly. Uh huh? And she's absolutely beautiful. Uh, that's not Chloe, Willow. Chloe's a caterpillar. Not anymore, she isn't, Jess. What? Caterpillars turn into butterflies. They do? Huh? What? A butterfly lays an egg, the egg hatches into a caterpillar. And then the caterpillar grows up and sheds its skin, like we found. That's right. Then it makes itself a cocoon, just like you saw. And after about ten days, the caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. And out it comes. Now we know what's happened to Chloe the caterpillar. And we've answered the question. Yippity-yay, yippity-yay, yippity-yay! Caterpillar turned into a butterfly. <laughs> oh, looks like Chloe's still my friend. <laughs> See how many butterflies you can spot in the springtime. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. It's so windy and cold. Can't you see in the barn, Jess, where it's nice and warm? But Billy, we have to be outside today. Yes, because it's Willow's apple picking party. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Bar. Stop, Bar. Sorry. <laughs> Can you guess where we'll have the party? Yes, in the orchard. Where the apples grow. Let's go and collect Mimi on our way. I wonder if she's remembered about the party. Mimi! Oh, it is so cold. It's party day! <gasps> Willow's apple picking party. Yes! And we're all going to play Willow Says. Like we always do. But it's too c -c -c cold for me. I don't want to go, Jess. Oh, please, Mimi. Well, I'll go if we find a way to c -c -c keep warm. OK. So how can we all keep warm at Willow's party? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask it. How can we all keep warm at Willow's party? Hooray! Willow's party's today. But I'm freezing. We're all freezing. Except me. I'm not a bit cold. <laughs> That's because you're covered in wool, Bar. Bar's woolly coat isn't the only thing keeping him warm. It's not. What else then? Well, heat leaves your body through the top of your head. 
Let's think. If heat leaves your body through the top of your head, what should you wear to try and keep the heat in? A scarf, a woolly hat, or a coat? A woolly hat! Well done! Oh, can I borrow it, Bar? Please? Well, OK. <gasps> <laughs> There's only one woolly hat, and we all need a hat to keep warm. I think I might go inside and keep myself warm. Can we come? Of course you can. <laughs> we must answer the big question, or there won't be a party. <gasps> we'll check the farmyard for clues, Jess. Good thinking. Party! Hmm, I wonder how my friend Horace is keeping warm today. Let's go to the pond and look for clues. Oh, it's freezing. Where's Horace? Can you help me call him? Horace! Hey, Jess! You called me? <laughs> Horace, you're all muddy. Of course I am. It's how a frog stays warm when it's cold. You just bury yourself in mud. It's like a big sloppy blanket. Wow, frogs are so clever. That's given me an idea. Stay warm, Horace. Come with me. <laughs> hey, I know how we can all keep warm at the party. Hooray! What is it? What do we have to do? We cover ourselves in something. Of course. Brilliant! Cover ourselves? In what? Oh, can you remember what Taurus was covered in to stay warm? In cotton wool? In mud? Or in leaves? In mud! Yes! yes. In mud? Mud? <laughs> Look out! We, we love mud! Woohoo! Pink rabbit, I'm not covering myself in mud. <laughs> Come on, Mimi. I'll do it with you. Then we can go to the party. You're both feeling warmer, aren't you? No, no, not really, Jess. Hey, hmm, maybe the muddy blanket only works for frogs. Oh, phew. Party, party. Is it time? Is it really time? Not yet. We still don't know how to keep warm at the party bar. Ahem. What do we have here, I wonder? And I'm so cosy. Hmm. Straw. Aha. Uh -huh. Billy, I get it. You're brilliant. There's lots of it in my barn. Come on, everyone. Great stuff to snuggle up into to keep warm. <laughs> warm as toast. Snuggly and warm. Yeah, straw's great. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, we might be warm now, but if we want to play Willow Says in the Orchard, we can't just bury ourselves in straw. But we might be able to do something else with straw. Huh? huh? I've got an idea. Willow! Hello, Willow. Hello, Willow. Hello, everyone. Hello, Willow. Here we are. Willow, look. Ready for the party. We're wearing straw to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. You poor thing. You all look so cold. Let's start playing Willow Says. But Willow, we're still so chilly. Come on, everyone. Give it a try. Willow Says, run to the nearest apple, kick it around a tree and back to your place. Go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Willow says, run in and out of the apples. <laughs> Willow says, stop. <laughs> that was great, Willow. And, oh, wait a minute. I'm tasty warm. So am I. Me too. I'm really warm. <laughs> That's because you were running about. Hmm, how does that make you warm? Running makes you all warm on the inside. And that makes you warm on the outside. And that's what we are, toasty warm. We've got the answer. Yippity-yay, yippity-yay, yippity-yay. Hooray! warm at Willow's apple picking party by playing Willow Says and running about. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Bar, you look really hot. Does anyone know how to cool down at Willow's apple picking party? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could play Willow Says with your friends. It's brilliant fun. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Mm, that was a yummy breakfast. You're just in time. I'm playing with one of my friends today. He's green, he's got big flappy feet, and he's a brilliant swimmer. Guess who it is? Horace. That's right. Come on. Do do we do? Woo, 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 wee, woo, woo. Jess is coming to play today. <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> I don't know, Horace. What are we going to do? Hey, you're here already. <laughs> hmm, let me see. We could do diving. Whoop de whoop! Oh. Um, uh, Horace? Or maybe just a gentle swim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing is, Horace, I don't like getting wet. Remember? Oh, silly me. Instead of getting in the water, mm. could we play with something on the water? Ooh. Like... <gasps> a boat! <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> we can have a boat race. So... Where do we find a boat, huh? We can always make one. Of course we can. <laughs> hmm. But how? Hmm. How can we make a boat? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess. Come on, let's play. What's the How can we make a boat? The first thing you should do is get some help from someone who's good at making things. Hey, I know who! She's pink and fluffy and she lives in a hutch. Can you guess who that would be? Is it Willow, Bar or Mimi? Mimi, you're right! Well done! Stay right there, Horace. I'll be back. I can just imagine how much fun you'd have playing with your boats on the pond, Jess. And you could be a sailor cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't wait. Now, let me see. Paintbrush, marble, feathers. Oh! Hey, you two. Do you want to play on Horace's pond with the boat? A boat? I love boats. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's floating away! Phew! Now we can help you look for a boat, Jess! 
<laughs> we're not going to look for one. We're going to make one. Wow, what can we make it from? I'm just looking now. Hmm. Well, uh, hmm. We've got an idea. Meet you at the pond, Jess. Okay, <laughs> puppies. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't think any of this stuff would make an actual boat, Jess. Hey, I could use this to make you a sailor's hat mm. so you could be a sailor cat. Wow, fantastic. But I still really need a boat. Well, what do we know about boats? Hmm, I know. Boats float. So you need to make your boat out of something that floats. You're right. Let's go back to the pond and test out what will float and what won't. So you see, Horace, we have to find something that floats. <laughs> of course we do. Maybe this big stone will float. Let's give it a try. No! Went straight to the bottom. <laughs> That's no good for a boat. Hey, Jess. You know, we said we had an idea. Well, this is it. Hey, wait a minute. Down she goes. My saucer! My pond? Sorry, Horace. We thought it would float. Whoop de whoop! Well done, Horace. That's one heavy saucer you've got there, Jess. Phew! Do you know what? I think those things were too heavy to float. Maybe we need light things. Light well, things? Well, light things. We saw something like getting blown away by the wind today. Can you remember what it was? A feather, a marble, or a paintbrush? <laughs> a feather, yes, well done. Yes! I'll go and find that feather. Joey, Jinx, can you find some other light things to try? Mm -hmm. We'll meet back here, okay? Okay. Can't wait. Woohoo! <laughs> hat for a sailor cat. <laughs> what could be better than a hat like that? <laughs> I've got the feather. And I've got another light thing. It's a leaf. And this flower is a light thing too. Let's test them out. One, two, three. Hey, look! They're floating! Yes! Wow! They're floating! The light things are floating! whoop de whoop <laughs> Hmm, the problem is... Problem? What problem? we found things that float. Yes, but none of them actually looks like a boat that we can play with. You're right there, Jess. No, nothing like a boat. Not boat-shaped at all. Oh, we must be able to find a boat. Then a hat like that. There! Wow, that's so pretty! Thanks, Mimi! It's great! I feel like a real sailor now! All you need now is a boat, Jess! Yes! All I need is. Oh, my hat! No! <gasps> Wait a minute! Look, everyone! What does my floating hat look like? Floating hat. A hat that floats. What do you think? Does my hat look like a kite, a trolley, or a boat? A boat! <laughs> it looks like a boat! <laughs> Mimi, you made us a boat without even meaning to. <laughs> I did, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's shaped like a boat. And it floats like a boat. We've done it. We've made a boat. Yay! <laughs> and we've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! Hey! 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 Yippity yay! We found the answer with Jess today. We followed the clues. We put it to the test. We tried. A paper.
paper boat because it's light and it floats. You can make a paper boat too. You can even float it at bath time. <laughs> Thanks, Mimi. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's growing lettuces and carrots. Look! There. Willow will love these. See you later, Jess. Mimi always shares everything and she's amazing at growing things. So let me tell you about the time that we decided to grow something for Mimi. It all started at Buttercup Meadow. Growing something for Mimi? Great idea! Let's grow something that Mimi doesn't already grow. Then it'll be a surprise. Hmm. Beans! I've never seen those growing at Mimi's. Beans grow on a beanstalk. That'd be a brilliant thing to grow. Yes! So, what do we need to grow beans? <gasps> Big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of where? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? What do we need to grow beans? Mimi knows about growing things. Let's ask Mimi. Bye. <laughs> huh? We can't ask Mimi. It's meant to be a surprise, remember? Ah. <laughs> Willow might know, though. Come on. Hello, Willow. Are you going somewhere? I'm going to visit my auntie. Oh, before you go, can you help us with a big question? I can try. We're planning a surprise for Mimi. How do we grow beans on a beanstalk? That's easy. The first thing you need is a seed. A bean seed. Yay! Why? <laughs> <laughs> because you can't grow anything without a seed. Look, I had some beans in my breakfast bucket this morning. You can have one of them. Wow! Thanks, Willow. Here, let's have this one. <gasps> That is one beautiful bean! All you have to do is plant it in soil in a pot. Soil? That's right. Plants grow in soil. Look. Like these marigolds. The roots will grow down and the beanstalk will grow up. Wow! So that's how a seed grows into a plant. Thanks, Willow. Brilliant! a good pot for planting our bean. Thanks, Billy. Now we've got the bean and the pot. What else do we need to plant a bean? Can you remember? Is it a leaf, a stone or some soil? Soil, yes! That's right! So, let's make a little space for the bean. Snuggle in, little bean. Wait a minute. It's a surprise for Mimi, so we should hide it. Why not here, in the potting shed? No, it needs to be somewhere Mimi won't look. Willow's stable. We can hide it there. Come on. Once we'd hidden our pot, we waited for our bean to grow. We waited. Little bean in a pot Won't you grow a little for me? Someday soon you could be as tall as a tree Come on little bean And show us some green I don't know why you won't grow a little Nothing 
happen for days and days. We couldn't ask Willow why, because she'd gone away. And Horace didn't know anything about growing things. But then I had an idea. <sighs> I know! Let's go and look at Mimi's garden. Maybe it'll give us an idea about how to grow things. Right. Great idea, Jess. Everything's growing. What's making it all grow? Water! Wow! Ah. Uh. Ah. What do you mean, water? Uh, tell you later. Come on, you two. So we went back to the stable and watered our bean. And in a few days' time, guess what happened? A little shoot popped out of the soil and grew. And a few days later, other leaves grew on either side of it. And then it grew taller and taller. And then it started to go all yellow and wilty. We'll have to go and ask Mimi for help. But it's meant to be a surprise for Mimi. So, we'll have to do it without her guessing why. Come on, let's go. Hello, Mimi. Your garden's great. Nothing yellow and wilty here at all. Of course not. All my plants get plenty of water and sunlight. <gasps> sunlight. sunlight! Yes. The sun gives plants all the light and warmth they need. Light, light and warmth! <laughs> Bye! I wonder what they're up to. So now we knew what we needed to grow a beanstalk. It needed to be somewhere sunny and warm. But we also wanted it to be somewhere Mimi wouldn't see it. Can you guess the best place? Inside my barn? Inside the potting shed or outside in the orchard? Outside in the orchard! That's right! Beans! So we stood it in the orchard and day by day it grew and grew and then lovely red flowers appeared and after the flowers the beans came and got bigger and bigger and bigger until at last we've done it! The bean needed water and sunshine to grow. We've got the answer! Yippity-yay! 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 things for us so we wanted to grow something for you hello I'm back what a beautiful beanstalk it is and it's covered in beans so guess what we're all having for dinner beans, beans. <laughs> <laughs> so we all had yummy beans for dinner why don't you see if you can grow something to eat too and don't forget sunshine and water <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. Ooh. Hello. I didn't see you there. Guess what we're all doing today? Tidying up. Uh, oh, just need to move this one. <laughs> we're all really busy. That's it. Back a bit. Oh. A little to the left. Uh. Oh, stop. It's really hard work. Jess! Jess! Come here! What is it, Billy? We found a sp sp spider's web. <gasps> That's amazing. I'm a bit scared of creepy crawlies. Shall we sweep it away? Stop, Bar! It belongs to my friend, Susie Spider. She made it herself. 
She's not scary. That is so clever. It must have taken ages. But what's it for? Hmm. I don't know, Bar. Let's think. Why do spiders make webs? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? Why do spiders make webs? Let's find out. Maybe a web is home for a spider. Let's ask her. Susie! Susie! Hmm, thinking about it, I don't often see her in her web. Then it can't be her home. No, and if it's not her home, why has she made it? Maybe somebody else has a spider friend living with them. They might be able to help. You're right, Billy. Susie likes living in my barn because it's dark and dry. Where else do you think a spider might like to live? Outside at Buttercup Meadow? Outside at Horace's Pond? Or inside Willow's Stable? Inside Willow's Stable! Yes, well done! I really hope Willow's got a spider friend. Let's go and see. I thought you were helping Willow tidy up the stable. We were, but we started bouncing and we just couldn't stop. It was so much fun. Come and bounce, yes. I'd love to, Joey, but I've got a big question to answer. See you later. <laughs> bounce, bounce. <laughs> Hello, Willow. Do you have any spider friends living here? I used to, Jess, but they all moved out. I think they found it too noisy living with the puppies. I bet they did. Um, can you help me find out why spiders make webs? Hmm, I don't know why they make webs, but I do know how they make them. Look. The spiders spin a very fine thread called silk. Silk? It's a bit like the thread Mimi uses for her sewing and it comes out of the spider's tummies. Out of their tummies? That's amazing! The silk makes the webs nice and strong. Go on, test it, Jess. OK. Yes, really strong and bouncy too. It is. Hey, maybe spiders make webs to bounce on. <laughs> like Joey and Jinx bouncing on the hay bales. Maybe, but I've never seen a spider bouncing. I'm sure that's the answer. I'm going to find Susie Spider and ask her to bounce for me. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Bye, Willow. <gasps> hey, Billy, Susie's here. Oh, isn't she lovely? Look at all those legs. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. She's definitely looking for something. But what? I think I know. I think spiders make webs for bouncing. Really? Bouncing? Yes. Spiders' webs are really bouncy. So how can we get Susie to bounce? Let's sing her a bouncing song. Will you bounce with us? Bounce, bounce, I'm a rapper cool. Bounce, bounce, I'm ten feet tall. Big as a fan, tall as a tree. I can touch the sky because I feel so free. Come on! Bounce, bounce, like popcorn popping. Bounce, bounce, just keep on hopping. Into the air we go. Enough. <gasps> the silk 
looks all sticky. But you can't bounce on something sticky. You just get stuck. So bouncing isn't the answer then? No, it's not, Bar. I need some more help. I need to ask someone who knows about creepy crawlies and bugs and things. Oh, I know. Horace! Brilliant! Let's go to the pond and ask Horace. Hello, Horace. Are you tidying up? Shh, Jess. I'm just catching my lunch. Delicious. Did you just catch that fly, Horace? Oh, of course I did. You're very clever. <laughs> it's easy if you're a frog. You just put out your sticky tongue and the fly gets stuck to it. The fly gets stuck to your sticky tongue. <gasps> we know something else that's sticky, don't we? Is it a flower? A spider's web? Or a hay bale? A spider's web, you're right! Yes. Horace, do you know if spiders eat flies too? Spiders love eating flies, Jess. <laughs> Almost as much as I do. You just gave me a brilliant idea, Horace. See you later. something in Susie's web. I bet I know what it is. Do you? Yes, it's a fly. And here comes Susie. So that's why Susie kept looking at her web. Yes, she was waiting to see if she caught a fly. That's what her sticky web's for. Hey, we've answered the question. Yippity-yay, yippity-yay, yippity-yay. make webs to catch flies. I'm glad we didn't get rid of the web, Jess. So am I. Next time you see a spider's web, be careful not to disturb it. The spider might be waiting to catch her dinner. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! Bounce! Bounce! sunshiny morning. <laughs> There's a cockerel going cock a -loo -loo. <laughs> He always does that when the sun comes up. Do you know what? I heard another funny noise in the night, like this. Hoo, hoo. It was an owl. Shall we go and look for the owl? I'd love for you to meet her. Look, there it is, an owl. Maybe it'll go hoo hoo for you. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Look out, Buffy Patrol! Shh! Did you hear that hoo hoo in the night? No. No, we didn't hear anything. What was it? Can you remember what I said it was? A little bird, a cockerel, or an owl? An owl, of course! Hooray! There it is. I'm sure it'll go hoo-hoo any second now. I can't hear any hoo-hooing. Neither can I. When will the owl go hoo-hoo? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way Guess with Jess, come on let's play What's the question here today? When will the owl go hoo hoo? Hello owl! Go hoo hoo owl! Hooty hooty owl! Hoot hoot! I hope we didn't frighten it. 
Uh oh. Sorry, Jess. I'll go and tell it that we're sorry. See you later. Bye, Bye. Jess. If I say sorry, then it might hoo hoo for you. Come on. Ah, oh, Billy, have you seen an owl? <gasps> an owl? <laughs> you know, a big brown bird with a sharp beak that goes hoo hoo. Oh. I'm a little bit scared of owls. They're not scary, Bar. Hmm. I wonder where it's gone. Let's think about it. Where do owls live? Can you remember where we saw the owl earlier? In a tree? In a house? Or in a kennel? In a tree, yes. Owls live in trees. And I know where there are lots of trees. The Whispering Woods. Come on, let's see if the owl's flown there. But I don't want to go. Come on, Bar. I'll stay with you all the way. Please. It's here. I'm sorry we woke you, Owl. Oh, come on, Bar. A bit closer. It won't hurt you. It's sleepy. <gasps> it's a tawny owl. You can tell because of the black and brown arrows on its front. <gasps> it's got a sharp beak and arrows. <laughs> no, Bar. An arrow pattern in its feathers. But the best thing is the hoo-hoo noise. <gasps> it hasn't done it all morning. I hope it hasn't lost its hoo-hoo. Again, it's heading towards the pond. So you think it's lost its hoo hoo? Yes. If it's lost its hoo hoo, then it might have gone to find it. I don't like the flapping wings. <laughs> okay, Bar. Billy will take care of you, and I'll go and look for it. Horace. Hello, Jess. You're making a hoo hoo sound. Clever, eh? I just blow into this reed. See? You sound just like an owl. That's who I'm looking for. A big tawny owl. Have you seen it? I have now. Whoop -de -whoop. I've been trying to get it to go hoo hoo. I'm worried it might have lost it. Hmm. Have you tried talking to it? Yes, but it flies away. I mean, have you tried talking to it like an owl? You mean hoo-hooing to it, like you were doing just now? Hoo-hoo! <laughs> you got it, Jess. That's exactly what I mean. Here you go. Come on, owl. Please find your hoo. She's off again. Do you think any of our other friends have heard her today? Well, Willow's been out in the orchard all day. She might have seen the owl in the apple trees. Good idea, Horace. Willow's so clever too. I bet she can help me. Let's go. So you think the owl has lost its hoo-hoo? It must have. I've been trying to make it go hoo-hoo all day. But it's nearly night and it hasn't hoo-hooed once. Hmm, let's see. When did you last hear it hoo-hoo? Let me think. Oh, I know. It was dark and I was in my basket. That's when I heard it go hoo-hoo. <laughs> then maybe you should go back to your basket and wait for it to get dark again. That's a great idea, Willow. Thanks. Let's go back to the barn. We better keep quiet or we won't hear it. <sighs> it's getting dark. We mustn't fall asleep. Don't want to miss it if there's any. Can you hear it? The owl's found.
found this hoo hoo at last. Let's go and see. It's hoo hooing, Jess. <laughs> oh. Come on, Bar. It isn't scary. We could hear it all the way over in Buttercup Meadow. Oh, the hoo-hoo noise is quite nice. But it seemed a bit sleepy in the day, didn't it? Willow, do owls always sleep in the day and wake up at night? Yes, just like bats. Bats. And badgers. Badgers. And hedgehogs. Oh, and hedgehogs. They're called nocturnal animals because they're wide awake at night and sleepy in the day. So it hadn't lost this hoo hoo. It only hoo hoos at night. We found the answer. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay, hooray! goes hoo hoo when it's night time. Thanks for helping me find the answer everyone. Why don't you listen out for an owl at night too? Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! <laughs>